All right, just a very quick one here, guys, but I spotted this last night and it's related to the Millwall fans booing that I covered the other day. It seems the fans at Millwall, West Ham, Colchester United got off lightly because it happened again last night at Norwich, but the reaction of the club's officials was very different this time. As we know, the media and clubs kicked up a stink over Millwall doing it, but that was really about it. The FA decided to investigate, but I can't imagine that will get anywhere as booing is often heard at football stadiums. Norwich, though, it seems, had to go one step further than all before them, either because they love the virtue or it was easy to do this time, being one lowly supporter standing up to be heard. Of course, when Millwall did it, a good portion of the crowd took part, the same with West Ham and Colchester, but the fans caught the clubs off guard last weekend with the booing. Norwich had time to plan what they would do if their fans dared to question the virtue signalling political actions that have no place in sport. I mean, let's think about it logically here. How many people are really going to blindly follow some brain-dead footballer's activism when he takes the knee on the field? Not many, I would bet. In fact, most will just sit there thinking, get on with the game, we are here to watch. But these clubs are obviously forgetting about that and instead kicking their own fans out of stadiums for disagreeing with the club's support of a race-baiting political movement appears to be the peak 2020. Personally, I find it incredible the FA or Premier League allows politics in sports these days, but I guess it depends on whose politics we are talking about and how many indoctrinated tosspots end up working in these organisations. The only other information that is really relevant on this is the fact that the club have started an investigation, which makes me wonder what exactly they are investigating and why. Though in political parties, last I heard, was not against any laws, and even in this pussy-whipped country, it cannot be considered hate speech, so it's all a load of bollocks if you ask me. I really cannot stress enough though that the fans should no longer be attending or even watching the football at all if your team is cucking itself to BLM. Obviously, if you take issue with it. If you support them doing it, then you can take the knee with them and be a cuck. But at the end of the day, that is the only way they will ever stop doing it is when the fans stop paying them money. There is a pattern consistent throughout history of oppressed people turning on the oppressors. Slaves against their owners, the peasantry against the feudal barons, colonies, Mr. Verhofstadt, against their empires. <laughs> and that is why Britain is leaving. And it doesn't matter which language you use, we are going and we are glad to be going. We're off.